Hey guys, welcome to the Rugged Rundown. And this week, I'm gonna talk about some of the best rugged laptops for automotive in 2024. So automotive, there's some, some challenges that you're gonna find out if you're fixing cars and you're in a garage doing repair work. You need to worry about grease, dirt, moisture, not so much moisture, but it could be humid, hot and cold. You're gonna be in a heated, in the summertime it's gonna get hot, in the summer, wintertime it's gonna get cold. Uh, but mostly grime and dirt is I think some of your biggest culprits in a repair shop environment. So let's talk a little bit about what kind of laptop you would need for that environment. Well, basically, what I suggest is you either get a fully rugged laptop or a semi-rugged laptop with some upgrades. Well, in the fully rugged laptop, the tried and true Panasonic Toughbook CF31 has always been the choice, and that's because the CF31 is fully rugged, you can drop it, um, it's got an IP rating of 6.5, which if you don't know what that means, check out my IP rating video. I also have, I wrote a blog about it. Check our website for that as well. I'll leave the links down in the description. That is a touch screen, but more importantly, the keyboard. What you can do on this keyboard is put a fully rubber keyboard so that if your hands are greasy or grimy or oily and you're typing, it's not gonna affect the usability of the keyboard because you have a sheet of rubber. And then when you're done, you take a, a cloth and you wipe it off clean. So now you don't have to worry about grease getting underneath the keys or anything like that. That's something I would think a CF31 would be great at. You'll be able to use your ODB2 cable to the USB ports. There's three of them on this unit. You'd be able to do that. It also comes with a number, you know, a USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. It also has the legacy serial port. So if you have any legacy cabling that you have to connect to, you can easily do that. Um, so the CF31 is a great choice. Another good choice, which there are some folks that don't like tough books, which I can't imagine why, but the Dell. The Dell makes a nice semi-rugged laptop, which has some of the same features. Now, I've never seen a rubber keyboard for it, so you'd have to watch the grease, but it does have a nice wide screen, and it does come with your USB 2.0 and 3.0 uh, ports. It's semi-rugged. You can drop it, just not just not as many times or as high as you can on a fully rugged. But it does do the job, especially if you're just working and plugging into that ODB2 port on the car, and you have this laptop in the car and you're just tuning it. This is a nice choice. Uh, another fully rugged laptop would be the GTAC V110. Now, this laptop is nice because it's small. It is the competitor to the Toughbook CF19. And on the V110, what I like about that over the CF19 is how the screen is uh, high definition, widescreen, and the keys are full size keyboard. Now, again, we don't have a rubber keyboard for this unit, but it is a backlit and you can see it in the dark and it's fully rugged. So you can drop this just like the CF31. So this is another notably good laptop for automotive. Now some honorable mentions that you could use in the same, uh, in the automotive industry would be like the, the FZ55. The FZ55 is semi-rugged, just like the Dell. Um, would it work great? It'll work great as long as you're not getting it right up into that engine. If you were doing diesel mechanics, I don't know if this would be the best choice. Maybe if you had it inside the vehicle connected to see if you were tuning it or something like that. Um, there is no rubber keyboard for it, so you would be, have to be careful with your greasy, grimy hands. But other than that, it does have the widescreen and it's, it's a great working unit. Um, another nice laptop, which is fully rugged. Is it worth, is this something I would put in automotive? Yeah, I would if you, you know, if you felt like you needed it. It's not necessarily the best one because it is top heavy. If you take a look at this, the screen is kind of top heavy and that's because this screen pops off because it's a hybrid. It's the CF33 is a hybrid laptop. So now you have a tablet style 
that you could use. Now you could plug in, and if I'm not mistaken, there is a NIC port and a power port on here, uh, but I don't believe there's a USB port on the tablet part. But if you plug it into the keyboard like this, you would use the USB ports that are on the tablet base. I think you're better off with the CF31 if you were gonna do something like this. But to me, that's some of the best laptops you can get for automotive in 2024. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'm leaving some links in the description for you. I'll see you guys next week.